right, here we go. Question number 10 from our pre-calculus homework number two in my lab math. Continuing with our series on a baseball being hit. We're going to launch the interactive figure. We're going to look at the same graph that we've looked at in the last, I don't know, several problems. And this time it says use the slider to find all of the times when the baseball is at a height of 64 feet. So showing the H of T, clicking the show H of T, we are concerned when our height is 64. So we're going to start sliding over. And you can see that our first height of 64 occurs at a time of half a second. When T equals 0.5, we are at a height of 64. If we continue to move the slider over, we can see that we are going to be at a height of 64 on the way down after three and a half seconds. So there are two answers to this problem. One of the answers was when the time is half a second. The other one was when the time is 3.5 seconds. And before we input those in my lab map to check, again, I'm going to play the what if game. What if I didn't have a figure to just give me the answers? How would I determine those answers algebraically? Well, we would come to our function. We would replace h of t with the height that we're concerned with. We want to reach a height of 64. And then we would need to solve this quadratic equation for t. So to solve the quadratic equation, first you have to set it equal to 0. So we're going to start by moving the 64 over, which will make it a minus 64. And then once we get that quadratic equation in standard form, the squared term needs to be positive. So one more step before we can solve here, we do need to multiply both sides by negative 1. That will just effectively change all the signs in the quadratic. And then from here, you can do several things. You can notice that all three terms are even, so we could reduce those values. Uh, then we could move on to either the quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring if it will factor. But I've decided to give you a special treat. If you have the Casio class whiz, you can actually use the class whiz to help you determine the solutions to a quadratic equation. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the menu and we're going to scroll down until we find the equation slash function option. We're going to hit equal to select and we have a polynomial equation that is second degree. Now the degree is the power, so we have a second degree polynomial. And then the class whiz simply wants you to input the values for a, b, and c. So 16 equals negative 64 equals 28 equals. And then if I hit equal one more time, it's going to give me my solutions. So the first solution for time is 7 halves. If you need a decimal, you can click the SD button and it will give you our 3.5 that we got originally. And then if you hit the equal button again, it will give you the other solution as a decimal. Now, bonus material, if you've watched this far, if you hit equals again, it is going to give you the x coordinate of the vertex and the y coordinate of the vertex. So the class whiz is freaking amazing that not only will it give you the solutions to a quadratic, but if you have a quadratic function, it will also calculate the vertex. All right, so back to our MyLab math to verify our solutions. And you do not have to put these in any order. I am going to put them in order from smallest to biggest. And we are correct. And that's going to do it for this question. So if you have any questions about anything I've covered so far, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.